guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and in today's video, I unfortunately have some bad news. And that is that Miss Donut here is developing some lumps. Uh, you can see there's a lump here, and there's also a little lump here. It's harder to see because it just popped up, but you can kind of see it because I'm pinching it together. Anyways, these lumps are most likely benign mammary tumors. Uh, and I say that because they have the right consistency. They kind of feel like floating lumps beneath the surface. As you can see, it doesn't bother Donut at all for me to touch them. And these tumors are super common in older intact female rats. So that's any intact female rats over a year and a half old. And specifically standard females like Donut because dwarfs are resistant to these types of tumors. And Donut pretty much ticks all these boxes. She's 20 months old, she's intact, she's a standard sized female. Uh, so it's not all that surprising that she did develop some lumps. Although I usually do hope for my rats to reach at least two before these start popping up. Uh, but unfortunately that is not always the case. So I will be getting these removed soon. I actually just set up an appointment on Monday for getting Donut checked out. And after that we'll set up an appointment to get the lumps removed. Uh, you pretty much have three options with these sorts of tumors. First is to just watch them, and if the rat's quality of life starts to dip, then you have to go ahead and have them euthanized. Uh, the second option is to try and treat it chemically. There are some medications out there that can reduce the growth rate or even the size entirely of tumors uh, of certain types. However, mammary tumors, to my knowledge, don't respond super well to things like cabergoline. So you can try that and hope that the mammary tumor is a type that responds to it. Um, but usually that is not the case. And people also try other things like CBD oil, uh, but that also has only anecdotal evidence around it. And it's not super promising for actually getting rid of mammary tumors. So all that is to say, if you really wanna get rid of these fully, typically the best option is surgery. Uh, surgery is the best option in cases where the rat is healthy uh, on the younger side. When I say on the younger side, I mean under two years and a few months. Uh, because I consider anything under that to be a good age for surgery just because once you get past that age, rats are unfortunately reaching the end of their lifespan. So at that point, you kind of have to weigh, you know, how long does the rat have left versus, you know, are they going to spend most of that time recovering from surgery if you get them surgery? Uh, or is it best to just let them live out their life with tumors? Because if the tumors are small, they don't really affect the rat too much. And they really don't seem to notice them until they start getting sizable. Anyways, because Donut is an older rat, but on the younger side for old because she's not even two years yet uh, and because she's in great health and has great activity levels otherwise I feel like she's a really good candidate for surgery and I'm definitely going to be getting that for her and I think my vet is going to agree and so I will be getting her surgery hopefully in the next two weeks so we can take care of her lumps and then she can heal right back up because well these lumps are not fun Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, it is a little bit disappointing to see them so early on Donut, but you know, like I said, she is of the age where they become more common, uh, so I'm not completely surprised. And I do think she's going to go through surgery no problem because she is completely fine otherwise, and my vet is very experienced with surgery on rats, so those are all good things in Donut's favor. So yeah, that's it for this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!